the last thing we're going to be doing here is making this a little bit more responsive to the mobile, you know, what they're doing on the mobile devices. A uh, couple things that aren't really working very well right now is that the uh, screen is really short, so I'm having people both walk off the page. And also down here, these go past the width of the page, which is really annoying when you're working from right there. Also, I don't really like that they kept bumping right up into the question marks. section with a little bit of padding on the side here. I don't think they're going to alt that. I think they're going to put padding on that. Now, there we go. Well, uh, so that fixes this thing here for a little bit. <laughs> Let's get that thing out. Uh, so that's going to be the next thing. Uh, actually, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to kind of do a touch on this. So I think we are not really going to go off the page. And so now what we're going to do is go back to the iframe section of that. And this should have a minimum height of 400 characters. The problem is it keeps on resizing to being exactly 100% uh, height of the viewport, uh, which is what I want for the most part, but if it gets too small, then I can stop tweaking. So I can say it should have a minimum height of 400 pixels, and I'll put that to about there. Yeah, that's a bit better. Maybe I'll do even a bit more than that. Let's see. one more section. Let's see. The nav bar is going to be a little behind the page. Oh, well. So I'm going to go to the nav bar here, and I'm going to do this for three entities. So in math, there are sort of three main um, axes. Ah, right there. So the x-axis and y-axis are just things that you're familiar with, and also the z-axis. That's if you have a three-dimensional thing. The z-axis represents things that are coming off the page to you. A Z index, that's the uh, the position something should have on the page. A Z index can go anywhere from, I think, minus 10,000 to even 10,000. By default, everything in the Z index is zero. The uh, smaller the Z index, the, the farther back you go, the bigger the Z index, the further forward you will get. So I'm going to give the nav bar a Z index of 9999. That is where the nav bar is. And now it's just going to sit in front of the page the whole time. So that's good. Uh, let's see. What was the next thing? I am going to do now is I'm going to do the next thing. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to go off the page and I'm going to do this thing right here. There we go. Uh, so we should do that. Uh, in fact, if the page is this small, I don't think I want them to be aligned next to each other at all. I think something needs to be built on top of that. Instead, maybe I'd prefer for these images to go on top of all of these sort of chunks right here. So that's what I'm going to have in the next thing. I'm going to move that over here down to the top of the page where all the outer blocker stuff is. And then I'm going to put in a media query. And a media query is something where it defines things that should happen only when the media, that is the thing you're going to review this web page, meets certain rules. So in this case, I'm going to be defining rules that should be applied to the page up to a maximum width of 500 pixels. So if I do something like red here, now the body is going to have a background color of red up to a maximum width of 500 pixels. Now, this gives us lots of things we can work with. I can actually change the background color, but I can change some other things. I'm going to say up to a maximum width of 500 pixels on this thing. 500 pixels being the flex on the body. Instead of being displayed flex, they should all be displayed width. So that's the start. Now they're not flex boxes anymore, so they're not going to be that cool little column thing where all these rows are crossing each other. Uh, also, they should be aligned in the center here. And that's not what I want this to be. So let's see. Yeah, so the problem here is that I have these text align lefts and text align rights right here. Uh, and this doesn't want to overwrite this. What I could do is I could go in here and put a text align center, align, or something, or even, but that's a lot more typing than I want to do. So I'm going to use a little CSS hack, which is this uh, exclamation mark import thing. This is saying overwrite, uh, overwrite any other text align property that's trying to be applied to this element. So any other text align properties, I'm going to just totally overwrite this. This 
uh, is something that you want to use really as little as humanly possible. It's important it should be used very, very sparingly because it can make for some pretty wacky PFS. So really just in uh, tight niche situations is how you want to use it. And then we can remove those borders. So now, if it's less than 500 pixels in that window, it's less smaller, so that could be less than 500 pixels in that box. And I think that's it. I think I'm scrolling around to make sure there's nothing else that's not being used. Nope, nope, that's it. So I can see that, ah, I think I have to go at least one more time. You can see how when I'm hovering over this, um, that, um, that, that horizontal scroll bar is actually one thing I can do to change that is I can go back up here to the bottom and I can do OOX click. Oh, I forgot to click that. Um, so this is saying if something tries to overflow beyond the edge of the body here, just hide it. Don't scroll around and hover here. Don't look at it. Uh, just treat it as if it wasn't there. So we can actually tell that. So this X that represents the X axis. If I go to overflow Y hidden, that's telling me to come back and scroll around to the page again. And if I use Inload Overflow with no X and no Y, I always come back to scroll around to it. So I just want to disable scrolling to the left and right and hover to the right. And there you go. The last thing I'm going to change is I'm going to put this one meta tab right here. Meta and Neutral. And I think I'm going to use Void Meta here. So this is some pretty weird stuff that truth be told, I don't really understand. What I believe is going on here is it's saying that when someone views this on a mobile device, uh, mobile devices by default, they sort of shrink everything down to look nice on your browser. So for instance, if I was doing this on my phone, I might go something like this, which is not what I want. Uh, instead, I don't want them to do that. I want to keep things like here very clearly and accomplish that. Uh, there are several other things you can do with meta tags, but I don't really go into that too much. Really, I just usually add this one tag to pages I'm working on and leave it at that. I don't really change too much else. So now I have a fully responsive portfolio page that should look good on most screens, and I'm going to save and I'm done. Thank you very much, Brian. So if I save and I'm done, that they can answer and my final question should be able to finish this up. There we go. Okay. All right. All set. Thank you very much.